long, long ago, when people were much younger than they are now and you weren't born then, there was a strong belief in Sawina, a belief that together we can triumph any evil, that together we can face the biggest storm and that together we can fight any monster or any ghost. Ghosts? People together could ward off ghosts. Really, Papa Big? Yes, they did, my little Tito. But that was long ago. You see, your Papa Big was young man and your Papa was little boy just like you. Wow! <laughs> yes, son. So we know this town that you know as your home was one of the most prospered neighborhoods. People always cared for each other and were happy and uplifted. You know what was Sawina's unique feature? Sawina's Halloween! People dressed as ghosts, dancing and frolicking, warding away the evil spirits. Papa Big was right. One might think that this story is of Halloween. But wait. This story isn't just about Halloween. It's about Sawina's Halloween. What? Is that why we celebrate Halloween? Yes, of course. We believe that every year for one night, the dead walk the earth. So all of us dressed up like ghosts to scare them away. So we now celebrated Halloween not to only ward off the evil spirits, but also to shoo away the evil and negative emotions lying inside our hearts. Inside our hearts? Yes, yes. Lack of humanity, generosity, lack of understanding. All oh, these are negative emotions within us. There was a time when everybody in Sawida believed in this story. And they believed in themselves too. But then, what happened? The ghosts of the mountain. <laughs> Papa Big explained how the ghosts of the mountain burned their crops and took away people's animals. They came in the dark hours of the nights and destroyed their peace. All that was always left behind was the sculpture that today Sawina knows as the Angry Spirit. People soon began to offer it crops, clothes and jewelry to claim its anger. But the Angry Spirit always wanted more. No matter how much we gave, it was never enough. So we decided to give it more than half of our money and more than half of whatever we produce every three months. And finally, the destruction stopped. But people of Sawina were left with very little. After taking out the share for the angry spirit, nothing much was left. This led to poverty in the town and people began to become impatient and struggled to make their ends meet. They stopped celebrating their beloved Halloween and always stayed angry with each other and themselves. Come on now, your mother must be looking for you. And your father already thinks I'm spoiling you by telling you all these stories. Come on, let's go home. Tito lived with his parents and his grandfather, Papa Big, in a small house. Papa Big was one of the oldest person of Sawina. He often told stories of Sawina to inspire his grandson to fight for his home. That night, after dinner, Tito went out for a walk with his dog, Strawberry. Can this be true, Barry? Was Sawina really that happy? And if yes, then why can it be that now? Come inside now, son. It's almost dark. Tito took his dog inside and they locked the doors and windows tight. This was the case every night years now. For any given night, the ghosts could come. There was no set time for them to wreak havoc in the town. People of Sawina slept in each fear night after night, waiting for some unfortunate, for someone's burnt farm or banished cattle. And after almost two weeks of fortunate peace, that night was it. 
No, my crops, my crops. Papa Big ran out with his family to see what has happened. And there it was, his friend Bernard's farm. <laughs> my farm, my farm. Our offerings have been going regularly. Then why is this farm burnt? Papa Big, look at this piece of paper. It says you offered less than expected produce this quarter. Bernard explained that he couldn't sow crops as he didn't have much money to buy the seeds. But the town people were angry. They all began to scream at him instead. How dare you offer less produce? My farm is right next to yours. What if the fire damaged my crops because of you? Let us not fight among ourselves. Offering less produce is not a problem. The ghosts are. Papa Big is right. And I say we leave this town right now. What? What? This is where I and my family grew up. But enough is enough. I cannot fight all of you and these ghosts anymore. It's better that I leave too. No matter how much Papa Big tried to convince the people of Sawina, but it seemed inevitable. It's decided then. I don't know about you all but two days after Halloween. I would leave Serena forever. I don't know about you all, but I would not want to live here anymore. I will leave Serena after Halloween too. But Papa Big, if people start leaving Serena... Then Serena would cease to exist. The next day, Tito was very disturbed. He didn't know what to do and whom to go to. Papa Big had already lost hope. There will be no more Sawina, Barry. Wait, what's that noise? Is this Rudy's storehouse? Wait, Strawberry, no! As Tito ran after his dog, he entered the little storehouse. His shoulder hit the sack of coal and blackened his shirt. Ew! He quickly wiped it off with his hands, but that blackened his hands. Great! and landed in the barrel of flour. Tito got up and took the barrel off and wiped his face with his blackened hands. He looked ahead and realized that Strawberry was frolicking in the flour on the floor. Both Tito and his dog were now covered in flour from head to toe. Just then... And to Tito's surprise, the ghost ran away. What just happened? Was the ghost scared of me? Tito thought hard and came up with a plan. Next day, Papa Big called a meeting for everyone in the town. I have not called you here to stop you from living. In fact, I haven't called you here at all. Your children have. <gasps> Papa Big is right. We know that you all don't want to stay here anymore. But what about us kids? We know the fear of these ghosts is real. But we only have one small request. One last time, let us all celebrate Suena's Halloween. It is also the night of our last quarterly offerings. This will be the last festival of our home. Yes, please. Yes, so time. The townspeople were hesitant to celebrate any festival together but they have to give in to the demands of their children. They all agreed for the sake of their children. Thank you all. We just have one more request. We all will step out of our homes at exactly 11 o'clock in the night. Everybody agreed and left. Remember, we have to make sure that we all look like ghosts and each and every member participates in this festival. Hope our plans work, Tito. Leave that to me. The night came. Not a single soul was seen on the road. But then... <laughs> and as soon as the clock struck 11... Huh? 
So we now was celebrating Halloween. Everybody was dressed in their best ghostly attire, and all of them looked horrific. So ghastly that the ghosts got scared. Run! Wait, these ghosts can talk? Yes, because they aren't ghosts. I realized this the day I saw the ghosts in Rudy's storehouse. Seriously, what the ghost says, boo! Anymore? A ghost who is actually a thief! <gasps> these are all thieves! Thieves! So all this while we are afraid of oh. these clowns! How dare you destroy our crops! Let's make them pay! No, the kids have already called the police. They are criminals and the law will do what has to be done. No later, the police came and took away the thieves. They were punished for their crimes. People of Sawina thanked Tito and his friends and decided to never leave their homes. They realized how important it was to stay together and that it was their unity that helped to catch the thieves. They all worked together and soon prospered. The glory of Sawina was restored. Sawina's Halloween was celebrated with enthusiasm every year. The victory in sending the ghosts away soon became a legacy which was stayed with Sawina forever. And the children of Sawina learned that the scariest ghosts are those who lay within us. <laughs>